I know how time consuming wash day can be. Hello Han, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Robin, I run a holistic beauty blog called Behold and in this space we're all about feeling beautiful from inside out. Now in this video I'm going to be giving you a highly requested tutorial on head wraps, whether it is daytime nighttime a farmer's market or a formal event it is just an easy accessory to ensure that your style looks chic it's easy to elevate your look it's pretty versatile and the key is to pay attention to the fabrics i've been using a range of satin hair accessories for years and most recently all from the behold shop because satin fabric is friction free it helps to maintain the moisture in your hair so you're retaining the natural oils. Hair wraps on the Behold shop are especially unique because they're two-toned and you're getting beautiful two colors while you're wrapping your hair. Any which way you style it, it's going to look amazing. I personally wear satin bonnet and head wrap religiously because my hair is a drier texture. It is type 3C and 4A not getting too technical about the hair taps but my hair is much drier it needs more moisture and the last thing i want to do is place super absorbent fabrics onto my hair like cotton let's get into the styles which are super unique and easy to do once you get the hang of it the first look will take you less than two minutes you'll notice that my satin hair wrap is a little creased because this is the one i use most often i just love this color and you'll notice that my hair is also tied loosely to the back i'm using a scrunchie here it's just so that the head wrap is a little more firm all i'm doing is wrapping the half of my head so that the back is out and i tie it into a cute bow i also ensure that when i'm tying it in a bow that the ends aren't visible because it just makes it look much neater for look number two, I'm tying my hair in a bun, but you'll notice that here, as I'm tying my hair into a bun, I leave some out to create a faux fringe. My hair is long enough to be able to do that, and I think it's quite cute, so if yours is, go for it. Again, I fold the head wrap in half, and this time I'm crossing it from the bottom up. Once I'm happy with the placement, all I'm going to do is twist each side tightly and then tuck it in the back. This is such a cute look to wear to work or to an event. And a way to really elevate this look is to add chunky earrings because it draws more attention to the head wrap. For look number three, I went with a low bun and this is giving me very much Shade vibes. I chose red, it's striking and it's just stunning. And again, I'm folding my head wrap in half, but this time you'll notice that the bottom half will cover the ends of my hair. This is an easy way to ensure that your head wrap is secure because satin is quite a slippery fabric and the way that you place it is very important to how long it's going to stay on your head. I thought a pair of hoops would complement this look and I don't think I'm wrong. And then I also just moved my head wrap a bit back so that you can see my edges and i also just rubbed it out to ensure that it was more visible it's effortless it hasn't been laid at all for this look i'm using the same application technique you'll notice again i am tying the head wrap from the top to the bottom it's folded in half and i knot it at the bottom Instead of double folding the ends this time, what I'm going to do is twist each tightly and I'm ensuring that only the black side of the head wrap is visible 
because I want to take full advantage of the dark color and make it look a little more elegant I want to also be able to use one color this time if you use a two-tone head wrap it's versatile you can switch it up one day you can wear blue one day you can wear black and people can think oh my word she has two meanwhile it's just one and then you can also blend the two and then I wanted to make the front look a bit thicker and more prominent so I added another head wrap and I'm using the red one here again but this side I'm using the black side of the red one and I followed the same crossover and twisted and tucked it in the back. This look is giving me wellness retreat dinner time. It's giving me Jada Pinkett Smith, Alicia Keys energy. Look number five is more like a DIY headband. I'm starting from the top again. This time the head wrap is double folded. So it's not folded twice, it's folded four times. And all I'm going to do is instead of twisting it, I am ensuring that it's crossed over. I double cross it and then tuck it into the back. So I've got that headband effect. Look number six is not for the faint of heart. It's for someone with big energy, someone who wants to make a statement. I have quite a bit of hair, but if you have short hair, what you can do to create this look is actually roll another head wrap and place it on top of your head so that you get that big bunny effect. So I fold from the back to the front it's a simple crossover and it's tucked into the back but this time I'm ensuring that one of the sides are left out and tell me this doesn't look like the girl with the pearl earring here we go another bun but it's not low it's not high it's in the middle and it is as tight as possible because i don't want a lot of hair at the back there's no knot i'm crossing it over and whichever ends are visible i tuck in See, very easy just tuck and I've applied some earrings again chunky earrings to make it look stylish I think it looks quite cute for the last look I'm creating mini pleats with a head wrap and all I'm doing is folding it over each other that's how you create pleats and it is also more of a headband style so only half of my head will be covered the top half and below i have a bun you can have your head loose you can have your head tied you can tuck your hair in you decide what you want to do you can even ensure that you've covered your entire head with a different head wrap this is a look that i love i like to have my hair shown out a little bit the red looks quite light on camera but it's actually a deep almost maroon shade and the pleats give the head wrap a lot of dimension it looks like you've taken a lot of time you've put in a lot of effort into the style meanwhile it's just this quick look that you've crossed over and tucked in now this is no attempt to recreate a ghillie because that is so advanced and intricate it looks amazing and shout out to any one of you who can create those styles i think it's so stunning you'd need way more fabric with a thicker texture to create a real ghillie does look amazing and so i'm just gonna keep it to this minimal style which i think is quite cute if you like this video give me a thumbs up because that lets youtube know that this video is worth watching and it lets me know that you like seeing videos like this 
subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you want to see more videos like this stick around for the next one